Hello people on the net, do you want to make a custom icon for the map you made and hammer for Gabby's mod? Like this? Well, I got you covered. So the reason I'm doing this video is because I made this custom map for a video of mine I'll soon release alongside this map. And I looked on YouTube for like tutorials for this and most of them are pretty old, low resolution or kinda slow. So I decided to kinda summarize them. But yeah, I'm still very thankful for them. But anyway. Um, right, so we of course need an image for our icon. So what I like to do is go here and zoom out. Now the reason I'm zooming out is because of course the map icon will be a square. If I um, do my screenshot like this, then the sides would be cut off. If you like put your hands in front of your screen and try and form a square, like you see the sides left and right, they'll be cut off. Then you won't um, see yeah, the entire room. So I zoom out, and if I now do like a kind of square with my hands, um, you can see most of the elevator, the important bits. And yeah, now I take a picture. Now go on to Gary's mod, go to my screenshots, go to Sean Hard Drive, scroll down, and there you'll see your most recent screenshots. Uh, this is the one we will be using. Open up paint and drag in the image. Now uh, we need to make this image a square. So you can uh, click this tool, then can I draw and draw a square, like this, that seems alright. Then Control X, new image, don't save this one, Control V, and now the image is a square. So yeah, just use the select tool, select the square, Control X, and then make a new picture and Control V. I used a different tool to make this icon, but uh, everyone has paint, and it's pretty simple paint, so yeah. Now we need to correct the image resolution. Go to pixel, I mean, I mean go to the tool that I just did, which is uh, change size, select pixels, disable keep aspect ratio, 128 by 128, that's what you need, then OK, and then we have an icon. Now we just need to save it as a PNG. In this one. Now you just gotta go into the maps folder of Gary's mod, where your custom map is, Put the icon there that you just made, and name it after the map. If you do that, then Gary's mod will recognize the PNG as the map icon. If you've done it correctly, if the uh, size is correctly, and if it's a PNG, then you will see this um, yeah, icon in the game. Now there may be other ways to do it, maybe using GIFs or JPEGs or high resolutions. I don't know of them, this is just an easy way to do it. And yes. I hope I could help you out and have a nice day. <laughs>